Hey everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name's Connor, with me on this video is Bob. This is my final intro line. We are here to look at a wiki how. That was also a viewer request from Van. Thank you, Van. This is how to fight like Goku. Connor, I have a problem. <laughs> yes, Bob? Yeah, I need to fight a lot of aliens all the time. Okay. And I also need to be fun-loving and have an asshole rival. All right. All I don't right. know that much about DBZ. Uh, yeah, I obviously like watched some episodes back in the day as well, but everyone knows Goku. Yeah. You know? I mean, Goku is a legend. Right. Right? One of the most... I don't know why this is in parentheses. One of the most hardcore brawling fighters in the anime history. Oh, yeah. Goku would brawl. One of the most brawl... The most hardcore, hardcore brawling... brawling... Gosh. Okay. If you want to achieve brawling bossiness, <laughs> read these tips. Bossiness? When was this written? Uh, May. Updated May this year. 51, 51 co-authors. Not one person thought maybe some of this needed to be rewritten. But 89% of readers found this article helpful. Okay, maybe, yeah. we'll, maybe we'll learn how to kick ass. Yeah. You've heard of uh, you know, girl boss, boy boss, Goku boss. Yeah, Goku you boss. Can get your Goku boss Does up Goku here. mean something? I feel like it means something. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, anyway, Goku isn't just a physical fighter either. The end of the intro. <laughs> the just, we don't need to specify. I th okay. I thought we would get more detail yeah, on that, but okay. Uh, oh, there's a PDF download article button now. I didn't uh, realize that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. You want to you want to do the odd numbers? I'll do the even. Sure. All right. So step one. Uh, looking at the pictures, we've got some kind of cell shaded sort of dude. Yeah, they're trying to do. It looks like they're doing like anime adjacent adjacent. Uh huh. Right. Not quite anime adjacent. Yeah. It's a little adjacent to that. It's like yeah, you go to the store and you get your how to draw anime. Yes. Book. Yes. And then also tallying up on the wall. Um, yeah. Do they think a dash is like the sixth? Um, oh my tally. goodness, I feel like that would be very confusing. Yes. They work in a base 12 system. Okay. Alright, so step one, be a good puncher and kicker. I feel like this article needs another revision, <laughs> like a 50 second author, this is not... Well, I mean, you know, you gotta start at the 101 level. Okay, but what about the other 50 authors? To fight like Goku, you will have to use uh, your appendages, your yeah. hands and your feet. Use the weird flippers you have. Are those both links, like, to other articles? Yes, those are How to throw a punch and how to kick, parentheses, in martial arts. Okay, okay. well, uh, I don't know why there's a boxer on this part, yeah, but never seen practice 100 punches per day. All right. So, if I mean, if you're just throwing punches, this is the thing Blake and I talked about. We So, like, Blake and I both dislike CrossFit. Blake more so than me, I think. Because, like, CrossFit is a lot, well... There are, there are some people who do CrossFit and they're responsible about it, and that's fine, right? But, like, there's also lots of people who do CrossFit, maybe not the majority, but lots of people who do CrossFit in a really irresponsible way, kind of just throwing themselves at an exercise without any kind of concern for the form, and they can really hurt themselves, yeah. right? And so, like, the thing is, like, if you just in an unprincipled way throw your, flail your arms around... Yeah, that might on paper count as 100 punches a day, but you're not learning how to punch. You're just flailing. Yeah, you're just doing 100 punch -like right. motions. Like, you know, and it, by analogy, like, if I just throw stuff in the garbage can from across the room, that does not make me good at throwing shuriken, right? <laughs> yeah. I have to practice doing it right in order to be good at it, right. you know? Goku punches things correctly. That's what... Well, anyway, practice 100 per day. Don't rush into it if you can't do 100 punches yet. Do baby steps eventually, and eventually work up 100 punches slash kicks. Whoa. Where'd the kicks come from? A punch and a kick as one thing. One thing, yeah. And also, like, uh, baby steps. Punch with your right arm, kick with your right leg at yeah. the same time. Maybe do the double. You can yeah. do 50 double punch, double kicks. I mean, at that point, you're uh -huh. saving a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. It can be any punch slash kick as long as you're getting a workout. Okay, so you really are just telling me to flail around. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to use proper form. Oh, wait. You were supposed to read 
the stuff. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Be sure to use proper form. If you don't have a... That's good advice. If you don't have a heavy bag, punch the air. See, that's not good advice again. <laughs> it's like back and forth, sentence to sentence. When your punches get good enough, <laughs> add wrist weights or dumbbells. But be careful because they can hurt your joints. Remember to do them slowly. Okay, so you're asking me to not punch anymore. Yeah, yeah. So like holding a weight and punching slowly is a completely different exercise. Yeah, that's like yeah. that's an arm extension. <laughs> like I don't know the ex- exact term, but that's definitely not a I punch. I don't think the WikiHow writer knew exact terms either. So it to seems... do the thing with the weights and the, the you you put your arm out and back in. It seems like, and maybe I'm wrong on this. Maybe I'm off base. It seems like this author may not be the expert we thought they were. Right. Hmm. Well, yeah. The I, I, the only the only person who could write an article about fighting like Goku that I'd accept the advice from is Goku. Goku yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Instead of this other guy, like his his. You know, you think you're Goku when really you're just Joku. Yeah. Oh, you're a Joku. Joku, yeah. Yeah. That's his brother or something. That's his little Goku's brother. Goku's yeah. little brother. Stupid. That's my new OC. I'm pretty sure well, Goku uh, does have a brother. Uh, I don't know. What I don't Raditz? Mean, Raditz, yeah. Is that his brother? Yeah, yeah. Um, All right, okay. then I'll do step two. Okay. Step two. Work out hard till you can do. Colon. Okay. 100 push-ups, sit-ups, squats. Pull ups, and when you get strong enough, work on their variations like one arm push up or pistol squat, etc. So, like, is that 100 total or is it 100 of each of those? 100, da 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 da, and when you. That's a completely different part of the sentence. Yeah, like, that's a <laughs> You're like, and. I, I, I guess so. Work. That's your ultimate exercise routine 100 push ups, then 100 sit ups, then 100 squats. 100 pull-ups. I'll say this. I don't even think that's really Goku-like. Because, one, I think you would be able to do much, much more. Yeah? I mean, like, I in middle school, I was in wrestling for one year, which is crazy. I... The my uh, my penis was visible through the one the the onesie <laughs> oh, they made us wear. It was awful. Anyways, the, <laughs> I didn't need to include that detail, but I did for yeah. everybody's mental viewing pleasure. Um, but like, I think in training during ra- wrestling, they made us do a hundred push-ups. I I don't think they made us do all of those things. They didn't make us do pull-ups, but like a hundred push-ups we had to do, a hundred sit-ups we had to do. And then I think 100 squats, and then we had to run across the room 50 times carrying sandbags. And yeah. that was the prep for the wrestling training. Like, that was the warm-up. So, like, that was in middle school I could do that. Yeah. Like, I've lost a lot of shape since then. I'm now pear-shaped. Or maybe even uh, refrigerator-shaped. But the uh, I don't think Goku would have any trouble with that, I think. Yeah, you look working at, your way up to that is not much of a goal. Yeah, you look at people's workout routines and it's like forty of this, forty of this, forty of this, and then they do that set like ten times. Yeah, you know. I mean, Goku's so strong he can like punch people through mountains. Right. I'm not gonna be able to fight like that. Like you're just not. He can move so fast you can't see him moving. Yeah. Like I don't know what you want me. I can't even if I do <laughs> two hundred sit ups. I'm not gonna be able to move that fast. Yeah. He's an alien. You'll never be able to fight like Goku. I should just give yeah. up. Yeah. Why are we reading this? If, if an alien attacks me, I should just lay down and die. I'll never be Goku. I'll just be Joku. I'll be oh. a Joku my whole life. Uh, oh, beans. Oh, beans. All right, you keep reading. Oh. Uh, give your muscles a break for one to three days. Try to make your own routine, even though you told us like exactly what to do earlier. And use proper form... Never use ankle weights when kicking. That was not one. This is there's so many little pieces <laughs> of advice here. Yeah, like it's all unconnected. I gotta say, I gotta say, uh, uh, here's my um, exercising at a younger age story. Uh-huh. Yeah, like in like middle school and such when they you know in PE or whatever. Yeah, they describe it as like do these exercises. Uh, so like your muscles would tear or something and let them recover the next day. And that had to be the worst way to put it because that always freaked me out. Like I I thought it it sounded like it was going to be painful as hell. Like my muscles were going to fucking tear or whatever. So obviously I like never did exercise hard enough 
to like Tear get that to happen in. when it's like actually just like it's just gonna happen and it's not a big thing but, but like honestly, the way they described it made it seem like oh it's you're gonna have to do this hella painful thing every other day yeah you know? they made exercise seem hellish when the truth of the matter is like when you're young and thin it's n- not actually that bad. It gets much, much worse as you get older. Yeah. So, like, develop good habits when you're young. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, like, I didn't need a big fucking explanation to know how plants grow, right? You pour some shit on them and they grow, right? Yeah. So, like, why didn't you just say, you work out and your muscles grow? Like, that's basically it. Yeah. I don't need to know that my muscles are tearing or they're, whatever. Yeah, I don't even know that that's true. They were trying to, like... Yeah, explain this whole like one day on, one day off thing, and also this like. like why really don't you just tell us like? Shit. Just tell us like you want to be strong enough to lift a big thing. You gotta work out. Yeah, and I would have been like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I do want to be able to lift a big thing. That would be cool. Yeah, you know. But instead, they scared the shit out of us. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. scare the shit out of everybody, obviously. Yeah. But. Now and now we're fat and broke. Now we're and fat bad. and broken. And dead, yeah. And dead. Now look at, at us. Least on the We're inside. on the steel donut. See? Yeah, kids. Don't exercise if you want to be kids, on the steel donut. even if it hurts, keep exercising or you'll end up roofing WikiHow articles on a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Almost 30 and no goals. Yeah. Number three. Practice handstands until you are able to walk on your hands for at least 10 seconds. That's okay. a big ask, actually. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, not, even people who can do handstands can't always walk on their hands. And the picture we're seeing is a guy just balancing on one hand, which, again, is. like, is it, I mean, this is accepting a level of balance, coordination, and athleticism that not everybody achieves. Yeah. Like, I mean, our friend Skylar is a pro wrestler. I don't know that he can do this. Right. And it, Maybe it, he can, but. it It's not, like, written in a way, like. I, I don't know, do this and so you have good balance and whatever. It's literally just like, do this until you can do right. it for and 10 seconds. And once you have achieved that, you're fucking that's, done. That's what Goku would have wanted from That's you. where Goku would have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he can fly. Yeah, he doesn't need to walk on his Honestly, hand, hand, handstand. Like, if he has walked on his hands during a fight for any reason, he probably didn't need to. He could have just flown. Yeah. Right? So, like, and he probably was flying. He just, hands were touching the ground while he was just levitating himself, right? Yeah. So, like, I don't know what the fuck you're telling me this. I can't fly. Again, I should just give up and lay down, and when Frieza comes, I'll just fucking die. Yeah, I'll just stand there and be like, kill me, Frieza. Kill and be me. Like, Gladly. And I am dead. a pathetic little bitch. Yeah. Kill me, Frieza. I'm a bitch, okay? I'm a huge freaking bitch. <laughs> I'm a bitchly. <laughs> Right. You quit being a bitch, Lee. Yeah. Um, oh. There was no... That was it for that step. And no, that was on. it. Yeah, that's yeah, all we got. Uh, step four, increase your jumping power. What would this link to? Um, how to jump. Extend Why your does legs that yeah. faster <laughs> than... I don't know. Okay. In- increase your jumping power, whether it be... Plyometrics or jumping over a chair. Just strengthen that explosive power. I see. Plyometrics is a type of exercise training that uses speed and force of different movements to build muscle power. Isn't that what all exercise is? Uh, Daily force. Plyometrics can include different types of exercises like push-ups, throwing, running, jumping, and kicking. I'm sure, you know what, WebMD's not doing a great job explaining how... I'm sure it means something to people, yeah. you know. If it, you ask a personal trainer, they'd probably be able to explain is, it a lot better than that. Is this a video game? Do I jump a hundred times and increase my jump power? No, you've got to collect the green orbs that oh, are on top of yeah. the buildings. Yeah. And then your jump power will increase in uh-huh. huge bursts when you hit, like, yeah. one level 100, and then you get one star, and then two stars, three stars, four right. stars. Yeah. yeah. Also, Terry Crews is there for some reason. Um, well, yeah. In the third one. Yeah, in the third now one. we're just talking about Crackdown. Crackdown, yeah. Okay. Crackdown. Fucking, Crack- fucking love Crackdown yeah. 1. Crackdown 1 is a great game if, oh, if so people good. haven't played it. Yeah. Crackdown 2 has a great story, but it's like all so... I don't know. Polygon has a really good video about Crackdown 2 story. Anyway. 
Increase your jumping power. Love the picture, by the way. Yeah. How are you gonna fucking land that? Um, you don't have to, like, unless you jump, like, if that's a human jump, if you're jumping and landing on a surface of the same height that you jumped from, you are not going to land that jump. You do not have time. Well, Bob, you say that as someone with weak jumping power. If you had good jumping power, big jumping power, you would be able to land that. I mean, he used explosions to faster his fly. Oh my god. Card in the corner. Oh, see, here's where we get the real, in this next one, we get the real anime adjacent oh, adjacent. Yeah. This is a little closer to just anime adjacent because they really want to do anime eyes, but the rest of it is bad. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, number five. Jeez. Not not Jeez. bold. This part's not bold. Oh. <laughs> Spar. Spar. With a friend, but remember to use boxing gloves and protective equipment. They are not using protective <laughs> equipment. Yeah. You can't blame the author on that one. This was just the artist's fault. They read the step. <laughs> yeah. And did not draw protective equipment. Yeah. They're also like, yeah, it's I boxing it, gloves, but this isn't boxing. Yeah, this they're bo- like, wearing boxing gloves and like one of them's blocking without using his glove. Like, why aren't you, I don't know. Yeah, they're going in for some anime Martial arts. Also attack. love this. Go all out, but play it safe. Jesus, we've seen like sentences, um, uh, uh, you know, say the opposite thing of each other, but within this one, within sentence, this one sentence, you're telling us to do. I mean, that's literally like, go but stop. Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, if I held my hand out right now and I said, Connor, I want you to slap my hand, go all out, I would be afraid. Yeah. Like. I, I don't know if there's a way for you to go all out just slapping my hand, let alone sparring with me. Go all out. But play it safe. But play it safe. Don't kill me. Yeah. But go all out. Like, if you're really planning on going all out... I want to see your full potential. But remember, we're all having a fun time here. I think people uh, maybe underestimate how fragile human skulls are. Yeah, I mean, like, you wouldn't be able to get punched through a mountain. Yeah, no, I mean, I wouldn't be able to get punched to the floor. Like, if I, <laughs> if you just punched me and I hit the floor, I might die. Yeah. You know, if I hit, fall the wrong way, if I hit my head on a table, like, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Yeah. Goku's not going to be dead from that. Goku's going to be like, oh, that did. I had an itch. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, next one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This uh, tactical combat rolling. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, step six. Enhance your agility. What does that link to? I'm curious. Improve your agility. Okay. okay. Practice your flips as much as you can and learn safe rolls. I have already practiced my flips as much as I can, which is to say I have never flipped. Yeah, I'm not expecting to flip. I don't think I'm going to be able to... I mean, I can, can do an 1800... I can do an eighteen hundred from a standing position, but that is not a flip. Right, That's very a much a rotation uh, parallel to the ground. You know, That's independent of agility. Yeah, total. that's that's just like inherent skill. Yeah, that wasn't. That's not even talent, really. That was just like a. He could do that as a baby. Yeah, as a baby, day and one. I, like I, I lift into the air. I mean, that's how I got out of the womb. But yeah. luckily, my mom was unconscious. They knocked right. her out for it. He eighteen hundred. Yeah, out of the out, womb. out of the womb into the doctor's arms, or rather, into would the have been into corpse. the doctor's yeah. arms, except the doctors all died and the dad died. And yeah, and yeah, my only my, one was my, like, my dad. Luckily, my dad had a clone ready to go, right, to inherit his mind, and so he's alive. Uh huh. Yeah, but you know what? It was all worth it in the end because now I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> sitting here, nearly thirty, reading Wiki House. Mm-hmm. Be like us. Oh um, yeah, life goes <laughs> on. Is it J- Jack and Diane? Yeah. Oh, okay. Long after the thrill of the, living of is, gone. is gone. That's such a sad song. Go let it rock. Let, let it roll. roll. Yeah. My brother was in an a cappella group, and he got to do the, the the main singing for that. Oh, nice. It was on iTunes for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Um, anyways, <laughs> run as fast as you I can. I love the guy's facial expression. It's oh, just, yeah. Is he getting more buff? 
Like, oh my god, it's working. Yeah, like he's getting bigger and bigger. Like, despite all the advice, he's turning into Goku. By oh, the man. final step, he'll just be Goku. <laughs> all right. Oh man, I hope the list how to draw anime as Goku. I really hope the last step is like get your hair all spiked up and blonde. Yeah, you know. Uh, but run as fast as you can. Find 200 yards. Just find it, right? Uh, 182.9 meters. meters. Yeah, of space. And try to run it in the fastest time possible. Proper form is important. Is it really important that we list how much space you need to run? How do you keep, like, giving the general concept of something, but then putting it in a way or giving details that are just stupid? Like, who, like, don't just... Find a large plot of land and run it. It's like, not just there a are large tracks plot. for a reason. Yeah, it's not just a large plot of land. Two hundred yards is two football fields. Like that's fucking yeah. ridiculous. You, Where are you gonna find that? You know, like people have laid out tracks so that you can do quarter mile, and it's been you know measured and whatever. Right, and or like you can just run laps around a track. Yeah, you know, four laps that'll be a mile. Just do that, <laughs> yeah. you know? But, like, if you're trying to do a sprint, who's going to sprint 200 yards? There's a reason that's not an Olympic sport. Yeah. Because it's fucking impossible. Goku could sprint from one end of uh, like, the honestly, planet what are the, to the other end. What are the sprinting, like, Olympic sport? <laughs> Um, um uh, mile sprint. marathon or oh like yeah, how, sprint. what are the different distances? Like the longest distance is like what? Like fifty? Maybe? Uh, I don't the okay, let's see. Well, I don't know. Sprinting at the Olympics. Never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. 100, 200, and four hundred meter? Okay, yeah. Holy shit. One hundred meter sprint. The 200 meter event, the 400 meter event, not a fucking sprint, I guess. Well, I mean, Goku again, he can run from. Oh, yeah, the, I mean, he can teleport. One end of the planet to the other, yeah. Instant transmission up in this bitch. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, okay. Maybe 200 yard, a 200 yard sprint isn't as crazy as I think it is. It seems really crazy to me. Right. Because, like, that seems like a lot of sustained, full-force running. Yeah, we can't even do a two-meter sprint. Well, that yeah, that's true. I can barely get up to go to the fridge. But, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. <sighs> You're lucky I didn't just shit myself earlier. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Hang on, I gotta go to the bathroom, like, uh, right no, here. Oh, God, please. Don't, please, don't. Oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've amputated both my legs for charity. Yeah, I did it for the goof. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard of Locks of Love. I donate to Legs of Love. Legs of Love, oh god. Um, Alright, step eight. The guy looks really smug while ducking under that punch. <laughs> like, full duck under. That's a really bad way to duck under a punch, too. Like, yeah. Why is he ducking with his back? You need to duck with your legs. Yeah, he's like, well, yeah, that's... Well, and also, like, if you were going to fight somebody and you crouched <laughs> with your legs, you could then use that explosive jumping force to punch the shit out of them with, like, a sweet uppercut, right? right? But with a back, what are you going to do? Like, lurch back yeah, up? Yeah, lurch back up. I don't know. That's not going to fucking work. Yeah. So, step eight. Learn to block, grapple, dodge, and trap. Uh, practice drills with friends or homemade. <laughs> Dummies. Homemade dummies. I feel like you're a homemade dummy. If you're oh, following the instructions, you're the real Joku here. <laughs> yeah. Bringing it back. <laughs> like what? Just mount it to the wall and launch it out of the wall and try and dodge it or something? Yeah, yeah. You just put some random junk on a wall and just start destroying your parents' basement. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, is this wall plywood? Well, it was, you know. <laughs> now it's sawdust. Right. Because you've pummeled it. Uh... Look to a martial arts instructor, books, or online for I help. I did look online. Those, That's why I'm here. Yeah, those those went down in you know the efficiency and the effect you'd get from them very quickly. Like right. martial arts instructor, yes, yes, trained, for sure, trained. They know what to do. Books, eh, it's a, but okay. at least it's, it had to be reputable enough to like 
get Being published and such yeah. online, and now we're just here. Any fuckwad can tell you in the great melting pot of knowledge. Here, well, let me just demonstrate. Or words. Let me just demonstrate real quick. Um, it's a really good idea, like a great idea, to just fill your shoes with rocks before you go on one of those 200, 200 yeah. yard sprints. Okay, I'm just some fucking guy on the internet. Yeah, my advice is just as good as anyone else's. Yeah, you want to weigh yourself down so that you train, you know, with harder resistance. So fill your shoes with concrete. Yeah, you know, give yourself concrete Try shoes. Try swimming with that, and then uh, yeah, swim with that. Do the two hundred meter dash with that. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, Kyle Hill has a really good video where he dressed as Goku with a weighted suit to see if that's doable in like higher gravity or whatever. Yeah. And holy shit, he can barely move. <laughs> it's a really good video because he's like just trying to walk places and talk to people. And he's like, oh, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> I mean, yeah. this is, that's a great channel. You should totally check it out. I'm sure they more people watch him than us, so... I don't know why I recommended this channel, but yeah, Kyle. Yeah, Hill. shout out to the big guys. Yeah, shout out <laughs> to the guys on top. Yeah. All right. Well, this next one. This looks like he's doing the like he's really intensely doing that Napoleon Dynamite dance. You know, his legs are long. Yeah. Like, oh my god, look at his torso They're and head to what the legs would be. Yeah, I mean, his legs... Like, rotate that diagonal, and he's like two-thirds legs. I mean, he's got a pair of getaway sticks that go up from the floor to the <laughs> fucking ceiling. Yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Stretch five to seven days a week for ten minutes till you can do the splits. You do not need to be able to do the splits. Unless you're, in like, an, a gymnast who's thing is doing you do not need to do the splits uh yeah like you definitely a hundred percent don't need to stretch out your you know your taint Uh uh-huh to do the splits also what the fuck do you mean stretch out five to seven days (laughs) yeah like uh why would i need to take a day off why wouldn't you just say stretch stretch every day and then maybe in the the unbolded text say like you can have a cheat day where you don't do it yeah and also like can i get a little more details like like what kind of like is this the picture of the stretch i don't feel like that like does it like you like you and guys especially really need to work on the part where you know you've got a bunch of stuff between your legs right yeah like that's gonna stop you from doing the splits Uh, intentionally. Make sure to I exercise... remember accidentally kind of doing the splits once the kids fucking hurt. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, you need to make sure that your scrotum is stretched. Yeah. So that when you take off your pants, it unfurls like a parachute. Uh-huh. That way, when you want to do the splits, you are ready. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, you can graduate to stretching your balls. You yeah. Know, a lot of the adults, individual a lot testicles of do within that. the... Yeah. yeah. My balls are now... Like, like, imagine hot dogs in a loose sack. That's that's what I've got going on in there. Yeah. You're welcome for that image as well. Stretch your ball the way to the flow. <laughs> Stretch your balls. Yeah. Um, Do dynamic stretches before a workout and static stretches to cool down after. What are those? Why would you not define those? I don't... <laughs> those sound really important. Yeah. Those sound like the kind of thing that wouldn't be fucking obvious. Like, plyometrics, I can Google that. Yeah, I can Google static stretches and dynamic stretches, but you're trying to give me advice. Yeah, you're trying to be the all-in-one article for how to fight like Goku and now you're just throwing out words that like I you expect me to know. Yeah, and I don't I'll never get legs as long as this guy's. How am I supposed to become a good puncher and kicker if I can't even <laughs> figure out what a fucking static stretch is versus a dynamic stretch? Come on. Whoa. All right. Oh man, this that is one. the most angry vaulting motion yeah. I've ever seen. And he's he I mean this is ag- agility to the max. Yeah. Um, I also love that he is I guess vaulting over a platonic solid in <laughs> the middle of empty space. Like, yeah. He's vaulting over like an early 90s CGI shape yeah. that a computer would render to show that it could. Yeah, right. like this is a cut Tron enemy. <laughs> yeah. Like partway through the movie Flynn was supposed to fight this trapezoid prism. Oh, jeez. All of his fingers are melting together. You don't need them. That's what mittens are for. 
Oh god. That's yeah. why Goku always wore mittens. You've never seen Goku like spread all his fingers, you know? I mean, almost certainly ha- he definitely does when he's doing the spirit bomb. You've never seen him do that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah. what about Kamehameha? He, he literally spreads his fingers during that, too. No, ha ha, That's like his no. signature move. Ha ha, no. Oh, uh, I was wrong. Oh, no. Me and my me and my melded hands, I'll never be able to fight like Goku oh, now. Oh, no. Oh. But you can fight like this guy. Right, right. Yeah. I can I, fight like off-brand. I don't want to be Joku. You're going to be Joku. I don't want to be I'm Joku. I'm sorry, you're going to be Joku. <laughs> now practice your flips. I'm Joku now. Practice your flips, my boy. <laughs> okay. Wow, he's actually doing it. He's flipping. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I flipping. know. I did a hundred of them a day, five to seven days a week. Wow, really? That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Step 10. Practice parkour or gymnastics to get the feeling of fast, intense movement and learning to trust your body's movements. Sorry, we need to learn how to trust our body movements 10 steps in? Yeah, that seems a little late. That's yeah. super late. Why, why wouldn't you, like, first things first, practice your getting a sense of where your body is? Like, there's a word for that. It's proprioception. Where oh, you're, really? Yeah, it's a, it's one of the one of the senses we have that's not listed among the five senses. But like it's like it's the reason oh, why when you close your eyes you can touch your fingers together. Oh right? shit! Yeah, I was thinking like key or something. No, no, no. This is a scientific word. It's proprioception. Proprioception is your knowledge and awareness of where your body is. And if you have a fucked up proprioception, then you get you don't know how to dance. You can you step. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not for yeah. some people it's a lot harder. But yeah, you have a sense yeah. of where your head is. Shit. And so, like, it's uh, like actually that there's like a whole word. Yeah, yeah. And there's like studies of it and stuff. But like, why wouldn't you practice that shit early? Like, I mean, that's the whole point of like Tai Chi and other yeah. like slower martial arts that are like about balance and focus. Yeah, like like you know? Dragon Ball Z and such. Sure, there was the literal key, but there was still also he did a that, lot of that like sitting and balancing and meditating. Of, yeah, yeah, that that part of it that you'd think would be like the first steps or so. Yeah. If you were going to do like an exercise routine or whatever that was I don't know, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z like yeah, inspired very extreme. or along those lines. Yeah. Or you could do what that one kid did in the viral video. Where he just stares at the camera and screams until he becomes a super saiyan. Have oh, you seen that? Uh, probably. I'll show you. I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know. Viral videos come and go. Yeah. I feel like I... my dad now sending you a viral video of something that went viral years ago and being like, did you see this? Yeah. Oh my God. The uh, the Twitter page, like ancient memes from 2013 yeah. really hits different. Oh, it hits so different. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, oh, um, and parkour can be practiced virtually anywhere. I feel like these are just like... Getting more intense in like the how much way. you need to move your body to do things like yeah. yeah parkour obviously requires more than just stretching yeah oh my god we're fighting the predator now oh shit okay in go fun versus predator in a fight always look for the quickest simplest way to defeat your opponent okay he needs his head to survive so I'll knock that shit off <laughs> yeah. I'll punch him in the gut where he'll fucking die yeah and then throat. Throat punches always work. I mean, like, if Goku wanted to kill you as fast as possible... I, f- I like feel like he- I'm in a VR fucking... <laughs> a VR game where I get to beat up anime dudes. I feel like I'm at one of those games with the gun controllers. Oh, yeah, arcade. like a light gun game? Yeah, but it's like game? a fist... Light fist game. What if they did that? Like a light fist game. That sounds kind of raunchy, but uh, yeah. like like it, sensors on your fists and you punch toward you, I, the screen. Not even towards the screen. You just hit the screen. Oh. You just punch the screen full force. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You can put on gloves, maybe. No, you would still do a lot of damage to the screen. Smash the screen, like b- push your way into the game, I like know, Girl from the Ring. I'm pretty sure there actually was like a sort of light gun, a, a sort of game with like swords. And like it had like a, a like a, a square sensor that you would swing the sword through, and it would detect where your sword was. I think huh. I vaguely remember that existing. Yeah. So you could probably do that with punches too. Although like a boxing game, I don't know. Would that be great? Would that be fun? I don't know. Yeah, I mean like 
Fight Night Round 3 was first-person boxing. You That's know, that, true. That wasn't an arcade game like that, but, yeah. I mean, that like, was something in an arcade, they tried. You know, in an arcade, you know what would be the, this would be the perfect thing to do? Make it a tie-in for that great movie, Real Steel, that came out. Oh, yeah. Remember, we saw Jackman, Real Steel yeah. in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did we see that movie in theaters? It was better than we thought it would be. That's true. It was, it was actually pretty it was all right. right. Yeah, it yeah. was all right. Yeah. Like, you'd think something like that would be like, oh, God, it's going to be crap. But it was pretty It was kind of corny, yeah. but, like, yeah, they did what they could with the, the premise. Right, right. Anyways. Okay, so this next part, you're going to want to punch a giant pill. <laughs> right. And you want to make no impact on it either. <laughs> you know what? That's your mom's tampon. Hey, oh, oh, my God. Why is it that color? I don't think she's using it right. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Uh, you had to watch that get on your mom's throat. Also, you probably shouldn't be, like, punching it. <laughs> right? like, your mom's probably not going to be a big goof. fan. Oh, God. Okay, is that good punching form? I feel like right leg forward, right fist forward seems weird to me. Right? Because you'd normally want to do a cross. Uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, that does seem weird. I had to, like, stand up and do the and motion. And try it, but yeah, like... Like, right? Wouldn't it normally be like... Yeah, like, you have no twist. You have no wind-up. You have no wind-up. Yeah, you're literally already you're, going this is all. F- this is all extension this, force rather than rotation. Yeah, this is all, like, in the elbow. But That's I don't know. not good. Maybe he's, like, he's yeah, going yeah. back and forth. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's doing the... Yeah, da, 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 where yeah he's, he's, like, on His final and, move. Um, <laughs> this would be the part where you would put uh, on just, like, a moment's clip... Right. Of True Bloods going no. absolutely fucking buck wild yeah. on screen. Um, I guess don't spoil it. Right. I just spoiled it verbally. I don't really. Oh, fuck it. Am I reading this one? I don't. Oh, yes. yes. Shadow box or hit the heavy bag. <laughs> that sounds like a Yui Moon, I think. Hit the heavy bag. I hit yeah. the heavy bag. Yeah, I hit the heavy bag. To increase your hand eye coordination and speed. Once again, it's like okay advice, but for a weird reason. And also the fact that it's the very last step. Like, you can't tell me to be a fucking explosive force of nature, throwing my arms and legs around, and then tell me to be coordinated. Like, I was. You just encouraged me to become a weapon of mass destruction <laughs> before you taught me how to aim. Yeah, you told me to become the Hulk, an unstoppable force of muscle like, that that's levels like, everything I see. Like, if I joined the army and they wanted to teach me how to shoot a gun, the first thing they teach me is not pull the trigger. They tell me, like, okay, here's how you hold it, here's how you aim, never point it at something yeah. that you don't want to destroy. Like, there's a number of things they get to before, okay, now you may fire the the gun. Instead, this is like, start throwing punches. Yeah. Your mom's in the room? See if she'll spar with you. <laughs> Just throw punches and kicks and fucking destroy the house. Yeah. By the way, learn how to aim. Go- yeah, Goku didn't need, you know, discipline or whatever. Yeah, he just broke shit and killed people and did whatever he wanted. I feel like, wasn't that a Dragon Ball Z? That guy, like, like real strong and shit, but would just, like, fight whatever? whatever. Nah. Uh, Maybe I don't Boo? I don't know. Boo was, I mean, Boo was just fun-loving. Boo fought because it was fun. Yeah. Well, Majin Buu was. Well, okay. Yeah, so basically, like, yeah, you, you'd expect, like, discipline and, like, knowing how to apply your powers correctly or no. whatever. You know, stuff no, like that. never. Okay. That's not well, early step at all. Well, um, make your own combinations, too. Of what? what? Shadow boxing and hitting the heavy bag? I, I'm yeah. sorry, fucking what? <laughs> make Read the rest of the sentence? <laughs> make your own combinations, too, and don't work too hard because our bodies aren't as strong as Goku's. End what? of article. End of article. <laughs> what? Okay, well, community Q&A. Okay. Hmm. Do I have to train 24 hours every day? Uh, I I want to ask a counter question. Are you able to train 24 hours every day? Because I guarantee you're not. Well, yeah, it's just step into the hyperbolic time chamber, you know? Okay, and then I have the more time. Yeah. 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 48 hours a day, I use 24 of them for training. Uh-huh. Okay, that uh, seems like a good use of my time. The answer, no. 
to fight like Goku, you need to train as much as you can and uh, then rest. Consider training one hour, three to four times a week, okay. preferably with a day of rest in between. You could train up to six days a week with one day of rest. Ah, six days a week, one day of rest. That's the Yahweh <laughs> way to do it. Right. And the then, Yahweh training regimen. And then on the seventh day, Goku looked at what he'd created and, and he said, was it's happy or whatever. Yeah, like, looked at what he'd destroyed and said it was good. It is good. Yeah. yeah. Can a 14-year-old boy do this training? I don't know, man. (laughs) Some. Most of them, probably. Probably, yeah. Yes, when Goku was just a kid, he carried a heavy... Okay, you can't compare this to Goku. You just told us our bodies aren't as good. He's an alien. He carried heavy turtle shells and delivered milk, and his endurance got better by doing farm work. Why did you go with was, Goku? Was Goku Clark Kent or something? Yeah. He, Goku's he, literally the worst example for that because he was also naturally gifted by virtue of being a super-powered alien. Okay, yeah, yeah, like Dragon Ball... Goku in the Dragon Ball series is is one where it's like the power levels are so fucking Vast. wild and crazy that no one could ever do it because yeah everyone is like flying around and teleporting and using and spirit blasting energy things and moving from dimension and to dimension stuff. like i mean like if you i don't know i'm trying to think of like a fame like muhammad ali putting the time and the effort yeah. to become an incredible athlete yeah. right or like i don't know abraham lincoln was known for being a he was the, called the rail splitter he was kind of sinewy but he was supposed to be pretty strong and that's because he did farm work as a yeah. young boy. And, like, if you want to... You could say any historical example, yeah. or even a non-historical example that's, like, fictional, but is of a real person. Yeah. Like, Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter. Every day he <laughs> trained with that fucking axe, and now he can kill vampires like crazy. But yeah, like that's... That's just... That's just but like us he was, talking, you know? Like, yeah, kids... But they're comparing him to fucking Goku. Goku! A 14-year-old can't do what Goku can do! Like, Goku could lift heavy turtle shells. He could also turn into a giant fucking monkey. <laughs> like, not, I don't know what you're telling me about this. Uh, just uh, real real quick, you mentioned Abraham Lincoln, and I uh, uh, sometimes think of that Payday 2 quote when you're like, w- before you start the mission, when you're like picking your preparations uh-huh. and such. Like, Abraham Lincoln said, if I were given six hours to cut down a tree, I would spend the first two sharpening my axe. Mm. Yeah. And I just like that, because it's like, yeah. Maybe Lincoln said a lot of really wise-ass stuff. You know, yeah, you ever think about, like, those quotes people say, and are just like, I don't know, you think about it, and it's like, did the guy sit there going, damn, I need to, like, make a quote that'll stand the test of time, you know, like, that'll, you know be, what? that'll be, like, super, like, cool and also applicable and shit. You know, I was just thinking about that classic atheist quote that's like, I am euphoric not because of some phony god's yeah. blessing, but because of my not my life. Like he tried so hard. He tried so hard, but I bet you Lincoln did the same thing, right? Lincoln probably sat down and thought, like, man, I gotta come up with some deep shit. Yeah. And then he did, and it worked. Yeah. Like Lincoln did it right. The other guy, like, all we all we all cringe at that euphoric line because it's so like fucking lame. But, like, he was really doing the process. He just did it badly. Yeah. Dang. Okay, um, how do I know if I'm a Saiyan? I, it's a real fucking uh, guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ask your mom and dad, I guess. Yeah, mom and dad, am I from Mom and dad, planet? are our people all dead? Did our planet get destroyed? Uh, do you have a tail? If not, is your blood filled with rage and passion for fighting? Probably shouldn't encourage those things. I mean, honestly, if someone <laughs> honestly answers yes to is your blood filled with rage and passion for fighting, they probably need to be reeled in, not yeah. told that they're a, a superpowered alien. Yeah. Uh, if you answered yes to either of these questions, you are a saying. Oh, you just are. Yeah, it's like the first one is literal and the second one is like metaphorical, you know? Yeah. You may not be a literal Saiyan, but you are in your heart. Now beat people up. Yeah. Scream. Now beat them down. Conquer. This world is yours. Yeah. Just another level of the beat down. Yeah. How can I defeat someone who's stronger than me? God, fuck. Dude. Oh, man. You did all that training and then, you like. You still didn't figure this shit out? And then, like, fucking, like, Broly or whoever's gonna come along and be stronger than you. It's like there's what, what, there's no end to this. Yeah, a fucking Asparagus comes up and you're fucked. You're just fucked. <laughs> I bet you there is somebody named like, Asparagus in the, in the Dragon Ball Z universe. Because yeah. they're all named, they're all puns. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, Goku's probably a pun on some 
vegetable. Yeah, I was just trying to remember, like, who do I remember Kakarot from, like, carried. the latest, like, Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Oh, it man. was like Broly was the guy with like green hair and was like ten feet tall. Right? Yeah, Broly's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I was just trying to think. Yeah. Um, okay, you have <laughs> to act as fast as you can. Don't give your opponent time to think. I mean, you're you're giving okay. them you're giving them a lot of time to think while you're looking this up on Wiki. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing this mid fight? <laughs> yeah. He's like standing over you, but the pummel you. You say, "Wait, wait." Pause. Time out. Hey, WikiHow, I ran into a problem. Okay, so I'm, I'm like, super buff. I'm, like, I'm really, really ripped, at, but at this it, guy is really, really, really ripped. ripped. How do I defeat someone who's stronger than me? Uh, you gotta be quick. Stop reading and fight. Act and as like, fast oh. as you can. You look up from your phone and he's gone, and you're like, he could be anywhere. Oh, my God. You receive punches to the back of the head and you're unconscious yeah. like, in moments. Yeah, and then you go flying and he does the thing where he, like teleports around you and kicks the shit out of you from every direction. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, can an 11... Can an 11-year-old train like Goku? Are we just gonna get every three years? Or maybe just every year? It's <laughs> just, like, can a 10-year-old, get a 9-year-old, get an 8-year-old? This is every year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, hold on. Can Kaioken be used to increase stamina? What is Kaioken? It was a technique in... Uh, in DBZ, I believe it did involve channeling Chi, in which case, no. <laughs> chi just doesn't exist. Sorry. Okay. Yes, but only for a moment. <laughs> Basically, God <Kaioken> can <laughs> is for increasing your strength, attack, defense, power, stamina, durability. Ah, our stats. Yeah. For a moment. After the Kaioken is done, your body starts to take the damage. Oh, I see. Are you... This step is to go even further beyond. Sorry, imagine Kaioken... But instead of Kaioken, like, imagine this mm-hmm. answer, but instead of the word Kaioken, replace it with the word drugs. <laughs> can, yeah. Can, I can take... drugs be used to increase stamina? Yes, but only for a moment. <laughs> Basically, drugs is for increasing your strength, attack, plant, defense, mm-hmm. power, stamina, durability for a moment. After the drugs are done, your body starts to take the damage. Well, yeah, I, I inject the steroids, and then I go into berserker mode <sighs> for 30 seconds, and then and then, done. And then your balls... Start a shrink and you start to take damage. Oh no! Yeah. Well, I uh, mean, when, yeah. I I think this is a good final question. Okay. Uh, because it really sums up um the the community Q and A here on this article: How to fight like Goku. Uh-huh. How do I train like Goku? That's what the article was. R T F A. Read the fucking the article. Fucking article, dude. Uh, in a literal sense, you can't train like Goku and expect to live. So true. So true. Preach, dude. He's done some pretty crazy things, including training. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, whoa. Humans okay. start to lose consciousness around nine to ten times normal gravity and risk serious injury and death much beyond I'm pretty that. sure it's even less than that as far as gravity. Maybe like three to four times. Uh, yeah. Um, that said, if you look back his earlier years, you can emulate some of what he did, build up your physical endurance like he did when he wore that heavy turtle shell at Master Roshi's place, also learn a martial art, in particular Goku would have probably learned a Japanese style like karate. Finally, whatever you do, don't give up. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well there you go. Uh, oh, by the way, there is a question here, I am ten years old, can <laughs> like, I finally like, <laughs> Goku? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. There's well, yeah, there's tips the... and warnings. Oh yeah, tips. Okay, oh, actually so a bunch of tips, yeah, expand. Okay, so... <sighs> This should be applied to your daily training regimen. So wait. Oh, wait, I thought this was your daily yeah, training regimen. Yeah, are you regimen. adding this on? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> How come that wasn't one of the steps? I guess that might be a tip. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, because usually the articles are like, what is this? And then the tips are where like all the actual info should, you let me, know. Let like, me also say, I think I told you this before. So my brother was overweight like me. He wasn't as overweight as I am, but he was overweight like me. And he decided he was just going to lose weight. And he, I don't know where he gets, like, sometimes he is the laziest person I've ever fucking met. Like, and other times he's so disciplined and so on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, And he lost so much weight really, really fast by going to the gym multiple times a day, which is not safe. You should not do that. I am not recommending that. But... He was going to the gym both for exercise and to de-stress. And so he'd go, like, early in the morning and late at night and still go to work in between. And he lost, like, 100 pounds in that time. But, like, no, that's way, way too much. 
It's yeah. dangerous. Like, he ended up okay. That does not mean most people will. Yeah. Don't add this shit to your daily regimen. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, try your hardest. Okay. For inspiration, watch Bruce Lee movies and Dragon Ball Z fights. Okay. okay. Fine. Remember to stretch before and after a workout. That really should have been a step. Yeah. Uh, exercise at a hard but steady routine so you won't get sore. Yeah. Practice free running and speed. That, that was, was that a was, <laughs> That was, was a step. A step. <laughs> uh, tell your friends about it so all of you can be active every day. All right. Thanks, <laughs> like, play5.gov or whatever that program was. Yeah. And also, thank, yeah, thanks, Michelle Obama. Um, check exercise websites for workouts. Well, but I thought this WikiHow article told me everything. Yeah, just flail. Yeah. Flail around crazily. <laughs> Join a martial arts class when you get the chance. Absolutely. Totally. You know, maybe I should. I mean, it would be difficult. I'd have to start baby steps. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should. Meditate to clear the mind and relax. See, that again should have been one of the fucking steps. Yeah, like anything about meditation. Try (laughs) try this under professional guidance only. Sorry, wait. Who the fuck is going to be a professional at training me like Goku? Yeah. Get your own Master Roshi. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Um... To get truly strong, you must have unsurpassed <laughs> willpower. Okay. So strong that you will not stop training until you can't even stand. What the fuck? See, like, people, look at your tips, look at your steps, can, and, like, come to a consensus. Yeah, like, can you at least, like, try to match the tone of the rest of the article? <laughs> yeah, why are you writing like an anime character? Yeah, like, what the fuck are you talking about You until you can't even stand? They're literally, the other earlier tips and steps... We're like, maybe take it easy, don't hey. overdo it, and then you're like, yeah. make sure you explicitly overdo it. As a saying myself, all these other people are fakers. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If you're doing exercise and you think this next exercise seems dangerous, that's an even better reason to do it. Yeah. Do the most dangerous exercise. Yeah, fucking skydive while you're doing these things. Maybe, like, get really drunk before you go do exercise. Whoa. Play Russian roulette while you're doing yeah. it. Like, what are you doing? Why would you recommend people do things that could kill them? I don't know, man. Um, let your, and then let your muscles rest at least a couple of days till the soreness is gone. Oh, okay. So go so fucking far that you're about to die, and then relax. Right. Chill out, dude. Yeah. You don't want to, like, be sore wanna, all the time. Yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself. Just hurt yourself. Yeah. To increase your speed and strength, tie something heavy to you and try to run and jump with it tied to you. I feel like that was said already. I feel like that... And also is bad advice. That's really bad advice because, like, you could have maybe, like, been more specific about how to do that safely and then, like, give a sense of what what's a heavy object. Is a 10-pound weight a heavy object? Is a car a heavy object? <laughs> yeah. Those are very different things, and they are very different strength things, right? Yeah. So, like, some people might think a 10-pound weight is a heavy object, and then start running with it, and then there's this big fucking weight rolling behind them, clobbering them in the back of the legs when they stop. You know, like, I don't know, that could have been a step... That was carefully written, but it said, fuck it. No, we'll just make it a tip. Oh, and then we have one warning. Uh Uh-huh. Body could be very weak, or muscles may be very sore if you work too hard. Gosh. Jesus. (laughs) The tone switching is so bad. This is what happens when you get 50 co-authors. Yeah, well, that's what you get, yeah. And not one of them thought to make the whole article just disappear. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're learning to fight like Goku, you know. Yeah. Did y'all look like Goku? I can't wait to find how to fight like, like, uh, what's his name? I'm thinking of the True Bloods version of his name, Money D. Puzzle. Monkey D. Luffy? Yeah. Yeah. How to fight like Luffy from One Piece. Wait, I've got an idea. All right. I will follow this, uh-huh. how to fight like Goku. And you find an article like, I don't know, How to Fight Like Frieza or whatever. <laughs> oh! We'll trade up. And then after our training is over and we know how to fight like those people, we will square off to see which WikiHow article is is the best. Can I 
up your idea just a smidge. Okay. And make this more of a viewer participation <laughs> thing. Yeah. We both train to fight like Goku. We encourage the viewers oh. to find an article and train like Frieza and then just attack us. Yeah. Come attack us in public. Come at us. Yeah, come attack us. We will fight you off. Uh-huh. And we'll see who trained better. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be Which great. Which training program is the best? Yeah. Yeah. All through the power of WikiHow. All right. So, yeah. I guess our incur- our call to action at uh-huh. the end of this video is like, subscribe, comment, fight us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beat me up. Uh-huh. I dare you. Yeah. You coward. You probably won't do it. Yeah. You little idiot. Yeah. You probably don't do 100 sit-ups a day and then... Five, five to seven times a week. Yeah, you probably don't even punch the heavy bag. Yeah, you probably... You're probably just a Joku. Yeah, you're probably a Joku, dude. Ugh. All right, well, that was that. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and special thanks to our Platinum D-Hole patrons, Dr. Faust, Hoshkoff, ODST795, Stannis the Manus, and the Kumi. Social links and viewer request form can be found in the description. Take care and have a great day.